Welcome to YouTube and today we are going to bind the grid view using a drop down list again because this time the requirement is bit different what we saw last time was bit different and what I'm going to present to you is bit different let's say I have a situation where I want you I mean let's say you're working in the organization and your name is John but you have some sort of a curiosity uh, to find you know how many Johns exist in the current company right so in that case you know this kind of application actually helps let's say your name pops out in this you know the drop down and when you select it okay so based on that you find out like you know these many Johns exist in the company so you get the idea right so the, the, the same way what I'm doing over here is I'm trying to create an application where we have a bunch of killers what we have in our system and I'm trying to find like you know how many are we have in the system by the name of Jig right in the database so, so something like that so in the past video uh, you know what I did was I was looking at the killer or a user I can say on the base of his ID okay and now my focus has changed I'm looking for the person based on their first name okay so uh, to show you more this is what we have the database the name of the database is demo just for, this is the demonstration and within that I have a table called as TBL user I got ID I got first name I got last name pretty simple database right and then we have this details and you can see over here one two three three jigs are there right so that's why when I search jig actually it gave me three jigs back right so this is pretty simple now next how do you code this thing in your you know Visual Studio 2008 right so <clears throat> this is very simple I'll show you everything step by step and there is no need to worry because I have you know pasted the whole code in the pasty so you can use this link and get the whole UI code and everything right I have also attached the code behind as well right so let's understand the code what I've done over here is okay let me get the toolbox if you're not uh, you don't know anything or like you know how to add a drop-down box or the grid view I'll show you how if you want to add a drop-down list you can you know drag something from the standard and you can put it right here like this right so this is a drop-down list this is how you do it or the other way is you can do it via code as well using a markup and same goes with the grid view you can simply drag a grid view like this and you can put it right here it works the same okay so basically what I have done is I've done the same thing I've just dropped the things onto the UI and this is my source code I've done nothing spectacular and the coloring and all you see over here is because of the template okay so I have just chosen a template as professional I think simple was chosen by me so that's why you know you see the source is something like this right <clears throat> and this is something uh, to see what we are getting right okay so now uh, our plan as for the plan what are we going to do is we are first going to load the grid with all the killers what we have and their information so basically I'm going to query through the database and I'm gonna fetch all the information from TBL user right so that's a plan one so how do we do that so what I've done is in the code behind I have a function okay so as we all know when the page load for the first time okay so we make a check if the page is loading for the first time then execute these two functions when I say load grid view it means I'm loading this guy over here okay let me do this okay so basically I'm doing this right and <clears throat> the code for that is it's in the method called as load grid view which is right here and load grid view has a simple code it ha it is receiving a data source from a method so I'm assuming this method is returning me a data set and then grid view binds itself so load data is the method which is right here so let's have a look at that okay so you can see I'm using the SQL adapter to query through the database if I want to pull out everything from you know the table I'll say select star from TBL user and then I need to provide a connection the SQL connection right which is right here if this is a lot a lot of time it happens you know a lot of developers find very difficult to you know uh, code the connection string but actually it is very easy if you have something like this over here you can do is you know on the keyboard hit F4 once you hit the F4 
what you get is over here is a connection string now this connection string for which I have created a read only variable and I have said like you know whatever I had in that property box you know against uh, the connection string copy paste simply copy paste from here to here okay now what it says is I have a cool instance which you can see over here this is idea PC means you can say it's like a dot and cool so idea PC is like a local host so that's why it shows like this initial catalog is equal to demo means I'm pointing to the demo database right and next is integrated security is equal to true that means I'm not authenticated via Windows authentication so I don't need to worry about like you know uh, providing my username and password if I'm a SQL user then those things comes in to the picture so right now this is a, a simple connection string which I need to pass to my adapter and this is the adapter and once this gets executed you know adapter tries to fill the data set data set is like a container where adapter fills your data okay and there are many ways you know uh, to fill the data set but this is one of the way I'm explaining and once this is done we are returning a data set back here okay because this method is returning a data set and uh, to grid view we can simply bind data say, uh, set as a data uh, as a data source so when this gets executed we get some results like this so you can see right all the users are loaded and we don't have to tell the grid view that what is an ID what is a first name grid view is a smart control it figures things out by himself right so that was pretty easy I guess <coughs> so you know like you know how to load uh, the you know users right so this was it so load data I'm shutting it off then next is now we need to load users so while loading a users I need a special method load data with the distinct first name okay so this is the method over here again this method returns a data set okay so again I'm using a SQL adapter and I'm saying give me all the distinct first name from the TBL user now over here I'm using a distinct because I need to display only you know the distinct records and the because the thing is if I don't use a distinct then I'll go I'll get you know a lot of jigs in my drop down uh, what I mean by that is one second I'll get you know a lot of jigs over here in the drop down which I don't want so that's why I said distinct and once this query gets executed I'm filling you know the data set adapter dot fill and I'm returning back this to my drop down which has a name DDL users DDL user is a name of my drop down list okay grid view has a grid view one okay so once this is done then this is the important property if you remember uh, in my previous video first name was a text field which you want to display on the UI right which should look something like this you know as a name and behind the scene there is always an ID which is a value field but I, but in our case it is going to be again a first name right so that's why so when you change uh, something you know uh, on the drop down actually you passing the first name as a value to him right so that's why this is the same thing and in the end data bind right so now we know that uh, these two things are done we have loaded the grid we have loaded the drop down loading both of them was pretty easy all they are doing is firing the query and returning the data set and returning the data set we are simply attaching a data set right here you know for the drop down and same goes with the grid view as well okay so that was pretty simple <coughs> now let's have a look when I'm changing the drop down let's say I'm selecting a rock what just happens <coughs> it pulls out two rocks how right so for that uh, we need to write you know a selected index change event which you can get you know from here if I go to designer view and if I select F4 as a properties okay <coughs> let me expand this guy and over here I have the events so you can see I have already registered an event that when somebody clicks or changes the drop down 
they should end up right here so let me show you an example we are in the running mode right now so if I go and I go jig so you see it comes right here okay so that's how it works and that's how it helps okay <coughs> now next what, what what we are doing over here it's an obvious thing right when we are changing the drop down we have some value so we will search in the database against that value okay so again I'm going to write an uh, adapter okay now uh, I'll talk about that in the ending so again I'm going to use the SQL adapter where I'm going to write my query where first name like okay and now the drop down dot whichever item you have selected dot text okay text when you select that means whatever you're seeing on the UI as jig right you're seeing jig over here so same jig is gonna come right over here as a final output so let's try one more time I am going to select let's say rock when I do rock and if I hover on this I hope you can see it the rock has been passed over here right I wish you can see that or let me try shift F9 shift F9 will give you the value what has been selected so right this is possible you can see it and once this gets executed what we are doing is the same code we are binding the grid view with the data set this query gets executed we are filling the data set with adapter and we are simply binding it with the grid view so whichever results comes out or out of that you know gets binded automatically in the system and that's why you get a proper result like this if I go for jig and if I do shift F9 again on these terms so I can see the jig has been selected right or apart from that you can do you know plus and minus like uh, selected item shift uh, dot selected item and then you can say as a value what happened value again you will find the jig because uh, if you remember the data text field and data value field both are binding I'm sorry uh, but you got the point right both are being filled as first name first name right if over here the value or text fields are different so you can do different things here but at least our requirement is clear now we are able to search the employees I'm sorry not the employees the top-notch killers right whichever we are selecting over here and last thing to remember is let me go here and this property needs to be you know checked if this is not checked then things are not gonna work okay so make sure that you are uh, when you drag a drop down you make this as auto push back as true next thing about code I want to talk about everywhere you can see I have used the adapter again the choice is yours there are a bunch of other you know SQL command is also available there you can use that and query through the database again you can find uh, get the results using SQL uh, data reader or there are a bunch of other techniques using which you can resolve the data over here this is just a demo you know so I'm for the sake of simplicity I'm trying to use the things as much as easy as possible so users can understand afterwards you know they can take their level to higher level and they can try you know some smashing things right <clears throat> so anyways I hope this video helps uh, oh one more thing I wanted to show you uh, let me stop it over here now let's say the requirement is when I say jig I also want to pull out jiggy then what can I do uh, if you look at my like statement which is right here I can do something like this if you are familiar with SQL you know what this person means it means find it, it will go like this jig and percent when I, I'll say like you know so after jig if anything comes up it will pick it up right automatically so let's run this thing and see how it works so let's try rock first and now let's go to jig okay so you can see now you know it's picking up jiggy as well because uh, I've done the change over here right so again it depends on your situation like you know what are you looking for and what do you want right but you got the idea like you know how to you know search things within the system how do you fill your drop down and what is the purpose of you know the text field and the value field always remember text field is something which you are displaying up front and the value field could be an ID or last name whatever you want to keep uh, during the search because mostly we keep ID during the search 
so it depends like situation to situation so I hope this helps and apart from that if you haven't understand I mean if you have any confusion regarding the code so what I've done is where is it like I explained I have posted everything onto the pasty you know you can download everything from here okay this whole code and plus you can do your uh, you know plus and minus in the code to you know try different things here here and there okay so I hope this helps so if this helps then guys please subscribe to my channel share this with you with your friends thank you for watching good night and take care